I feel we are overusing the resources of our planet. We want to expand the possibilities of agriculture in an environment where it wasn't thought that you could actually grow plants. We think that that can really change the outlook for the future. Nemo's Garden is an alternative agriculture project where we're trying to find a way to grow plants underwater in underwater greenhouses. We have grown between 50 and 60 different species. Basil, different kinds of salads, goji, soy, sprouts, medical herbs. Harvesting the plants is uh, actually very simple. We cut it just like we would do on land and then we wrap it into um, reusable plastic uh, containers and we just close it up and we uh, pick it up on the surface nice and comfortable. The main challenges of growing plants underwater are it has never been done, it's all new. Initially the learning curve was very steep. Every operation has to be done scuba diving. And that is a challenge on itself. The main advantages are the protection from outside elements. We are underwater, nothing can get to us. No pests means no chemicals needed. And of course, no hail, no storms. The temperature stability that we have inside the water, which is a lot more stable than outside. Plus the higher pressure underwater, uh, apparently uh, makes our plants grow faster and stronger and with higher content of essential oils. The water that we use for the plants is mostly from evaporation of the surface of the salt water. Once it's evaporated, it condenses back into rain. We basically create fresh water automatically that we don't need to consume any energy for. We know that climate change and, and the future of demography is headed towards a way where we will be overusing the resources of our planet. I hope the Nemo's Garden is a way to use those resources in a very uh, respectful way and balanced way. The whole concept for the project is to expand the possibilities of uh, agriculture. In a world that is covered more than 70% in water, it simply makes sense to us.